Hello everybody, Chris Wood here. Spencer Mills 14716, XG for Commander before leaving Napanee 2019. Drove a white Jeep Wrangler, Staff Sergeants, years 2019-2021. Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Stacy, a mental health worker, was Daily Tea Company in Napanee. Now Kingston and Shelley Hafner or Hafner. They're guilty of injuring, torture crimes, sex assault, kidnapping, full identity theft on me over the course of four years, false arrest, medical blacklisting, having my mother stalked and murdered, having my dogs killed, revenge retaliation on me for speaking of their human homeless trafficking and homeless exploitation out of the Morning Star mission. As a result, I became a target. Back in 2019, XOPP chief before he left Napanee in August, drove a white Jeep Wrangler, had me shot. I've been full. I've been through full identity theft, identity changes, by one Bill Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstyne, Dale Hartwick, a Ray LeBlow, a Tony Hearns, a Robert Barry, who was happens to be an ex-jail guard from Ottawa. They're human traffickers, sex slavery traffickers, children to pedophiles, adults to sex offenders, drug trafficking, and drug lacing here in Napanee. The ones that are overdosing and dying from the drugs is Blair Hardy, Jason Van Alstyne, through Robert Kane, 7224, drug cop. <sighs> Police that need to be arrested and criminally felony charged. Spencer Mills once again, 14716, ex-chief or commander again. Staff sergeants kidnapping sodomy sex assault year 2019-2021 Shannon Quirk Robert Kane Robert Lucas Stacy and Shelley Hafner once again these are very seriously dangerous police here in Napanee and the public needs to be aware of it I have been seriously brain injured, I have been skull split, I have been through serious many different identity changes with 100% proof, medical blacklisting to prevent me help and proof, medical file falsifications through doctors because of lies against me, stating that I have long criminal record in history which is not true in any way shape or form, I have none except for being falsely charged to fuck me over for the cops and doctors involved in this to get away with the crimes that they are guilty of lies against me about having long psychological record and history not true in any way shape or form they're using badges positions credentials and their lies and their false guise of law to be above suspicion of the crimes that they are committing on the poor homeless elderly and disabled lies about being suicidal self-harmer not true i've been trying to save my life i am life i'm certainly not fucking suicidal and if i was i'm sure the hell not gonna say anything about it i would just have done it you sons of bitches and that's a fucking fact lies about being on drugs i do not do and this is all done to so they can justify the crimes that they are committing families are murdered and missing the natives it is Lennox and Addington, Ontario Provincial Police. It is Ontario Provincial Police in general. They're kidnapping, they're human trafficking, they're sex slavery trafficking, obviously false arrest and full identity theft and changes on victims, which I've been going through for four years while being called a liar, while being accused of hallucinating, while being accused of being delusional and not, nobody wanting to see any proof three hospitals are involved in aiding OPP in their crimes. They're guilty of harboring a wanna inmate sex offender who used to live at 34 Water Street here in Napanee, now lives at 149 Center Street North, or was. He was going by the name Bill Woldridge. He's bald glasses. He thinks that he and I were switched at birth, believes that he's my dad and thinks that he is Harry Potter. He was also stalking my mother and he murdered my mother, S. Wood, December 20th, 2020. There's Blair Hardy, 
who is a human trafficker, a drug trafficker. He's guilty of rapes. He raped a woman named Olivia here before she overdosed. He's guilty of overdosing and murdering Jack Clark for OPP with Jason Van Alstyne. They are the ones that are lacing the drugs here in Napanee that the addict junkies are buying and dying from. It is through them. They're also doing it in Kingston at the hub through the homeless that cause murders. Whether anybody wants to believe it or not, I've been trying to get medical help, arrest, and everything else with no help with being and being stopped every step of the way. I'm 51 years old and I'm going through this because I spoke police crimes and the ones that need to be arrested and charged with and for OPP because they are aiding them for money, freedom, drop charges, and their drugs of choice here. And this is why OPP are using these pieces of shit. There is an Isaac, there is a, a Robert Barry also, there is a Jimmy Perry, there's Michelle Irish, there is a Holly Carlisle, there is a Kelly Maxwell, there is a woman that lives on the corner of Center and Thomas Street here in Napanee. It's a crack shack, she's an obese blonde woman. There is ones that live up beside Video 99, there is a Sherry, and there is others where Blair Hardy happens to hide out while being untouchable through the fucking cops while committing this crime on me and proving it and not being able to do a damn thing about it. All because I spoke police crimes and this is how they traffic, frame, and murder. But anyway, Bill Waldridge, 149 Center Street North, the one that was stalking my mother, the one that believes he is, is me, believes that we were his, also Harry Potter as well. He's highly delusional, highly psychotic. He is a heroin addict, a heroin addict. He hangs out and frequents the loaf and ale, coffee cravings here in Napanee, and also Tim Hortons, where he was going to stalk your children for the XOPP chief for pedophilia slave trafficking and that's a fucking fact I was charged by the hospital here for harassment for naming names of doctors who are guilty of very serious felony crimes and aiding OPP and these pieces of shit in their crimes while having me medically blacklisted file falsifications medical treatment refusals, discrimination, and being criminally and negligently involved and had me charged and that was their way to get out of their fucking crimes that they are guilty of and that worked perfect for OPP because that was their way to get my pitch, everything they needed. Blair Hardy, obsessed homosexual lowlife piece of shit, used to drive a Mercedes and hang out with Shelly Barchet at the Morning Star Mission. This is also him. This is Bill, Bill Waldridge, the one that lives at 149 Center Street North, his bald glasses, goatee sometimes, and he's also a Hells Angels Ontario Chapter Captain and a Child Stalker for XOPP Chief of Commander from August 2019.
They can't have it getting out that they are committing murders, they are committing sex assaults, and they are committing human trafficking, full fucking identity thefts, injuring torture crimes, and getting away with it with hospitals and doctors who are gladly aiding them because it was being done to poor, elderly, homeless, disabled. As a matter of fact, anybody who sees this, watch your bank accounts around these pieces of shit because they're also guilty of financial thefts and frauds and welfare, disability, pension thefts and frauds as well. This is a picture of me of some of the deforming I've been through while not being able to do anything about it and being called a fucking liar. Called This is supposed to be a hallucination delusion according to the hospitals and doctors or just a headache or me on drugs which I don't do Dale Waldridge and Blair Hardy Jason Kempe, Two Step, Van Alstein. He's most likely hiding at Ray LeBlow's or with Tyler Lake or on Water Street. He, he was also with Jack Clark the day that he died as well, so he's involved with that murder of Jack. Here's another picture of him. He's already going around up and he's saying that he's me. The fucking delusional crack fed, crackhead little piece of shit junkie. I'm 51 years old and he is approximately 35, 40 years old and committing identity theft on me through the police. It's kind of too convenient how I'm starting to look a lot like him and Tyler Lake and also Blair Hardy at the same time and Hurtwicks. This is Burt Hustler. These are all human traffickers and drug traffickers with and for OPP here at Napanee. They're untouchables. This is who they charge $22,000 for to have arrested. One forty nine Center Street North again unless he's moved or back in hiding through the cops. Tyler T. Bag Lake, he's guilty of torturing my, my dog Runt back last year and killing him in March of twenty twenty three. Him and Ray LeBlo. how OPP are getting away with this. Like I said before, their their lies, their false guys of law, their badges, their positions. <coughs> Here's another picture and you can obviously tell where my skull's been burned out. I've not had any surgeries either. All of these are called just a headache or Chris on drugs drying out, which I don't fucking do, but I'm in excruciating pain going through this 24-7 and there is not a fucking thing I can do. I cannot get medical help. I cannot get legal help. I cannot get human rights help. They've all been conveniently taken away from me. I have no rights whatsoever while this is happening to me and I can very well damn well prove it. And this is why the cops are so fucking successful with their crimes. I can just imagine how many other murders they've committed, how many other 
identity thefts and framing of innocent people because of them speaking of their crimes to fuck them over. How many bloodlines have they actually murdered? How many children have they actually kidnapped and fucked? How many... There's a lot of things OPP need to answer for. Going and being surrounded hands on guns to prevent anything legal on them. Well, this is happening to me. As it stands right now, OPP, if I go out and anything happens to me, there will be no mistake in identity. And anything happens to me by anybody, it will be to shut me up and it will be to fuck me over even more. And I will not be proven wrong so you can continue to get out of this and hide while this is taking place with me all through you and your fucking boyfriend. This is what happens when you speak up and try to save lives from cops. You get stalked, your mother gets murdered, your dogs get killed, and go through full identity theft. With proof. With proof. Well, being called a delusional, hallucinating liar because who it's being done by. And yes, even a CEO and patient relations from a hospital are even involved in having me falsely charged and also aiding in these crimes so their hospital and doctors can get away with what they are getting away with aiding these pieces of shit. OPP have been using this since the 1960s and luckily nobody around Napanee knows about it or anywhere else. It also enables for invasive surveillance too while destroying and torturing their victims. That is what I was shot with by XOPP chief in my right ear and then the problems began back in 2019 before he left. The whole right side of my head is completely and totally dead. I have no feeling whatsoever. Nothing. So damage done, time bought. My identity theft and fucking brain injuring and everything else against me is done. one way or another you are gonna pay for this you will answer for it you fucking terrorist bastards me being the end of my bloodline anytime OPP wants to pay to have my dad exhumed to prove this I'm more than willing to let you I think about a hundred and fifty million dollar lawsuit would be perfect fifty million dollars for the murder of my mother fifty million dollars for the crimes against me and fifty million dollars because I am the end of my bloodline it won't help any but it will sure break your fucking drug trafficking human trafficking extortion piggy bank that you have as a matter of fact if you're if your drug fed money paid pieces of shit have been getting paid three hundred dollars a day between every one of them there has been an estimated two million one hundred and ninety thousand dollars forked out to these bastards over the course of four years and this is possibly how OPP are laundering the money along with a certain mission here in town there is also David Smith who is involved with this as well he is a priest or a preacher he is very much involved he delivered me my last meal right Judas before Spencer Mills showed up in 2019 with his threats and intimidation after I was shot. The one known as Bill Woldridge then came on. Medical blacklisting me getting CAT scans, my CAT scans original ones, me being given fake ones and my original ones, Spencer Mills is in, in possession of them. OPP Spencer Mills has my original CAT scans from 2019 through the hospital.